tell me, we, we've we've touched on him a few times, but tell me about Theo Theo Ramage and those stories. Yeah, so uh, Theo is, uh, I made up a new category in the world. He's an ex-data psychic. Um, he was not a tough guy. He was a back office guy. His wife was the tough guy. Uh, she was a Secret Service um, personnel who guarded a senator, and she saved the senator's life, and she was shot hmm. uh, by, a, by a militant group down in, um, where did I, Nicaragua, I think <laughs> she was from. Um, and that's kind of, and then uh, he and his wife's partner kind of uh, didn't handle it too well, and they went down there and they uh, tried to take care of uh, these people, the family who, uh, you know, was going to kill the senator, but accidentally killed, you know, ended up killing his wife. And they uh, they get involved in a little bloodbath down there. And this is all backstory; you don't really right. find out until sandbagged. Actually, a lot of it, um, the actual story, he doesn't actually tell it until the second book. But uh, they get caught, um, and but because these guys were terrorists and and uh, they know the story, you know they they let they busted the FBI guy down a few ranks and they they kind of let Ramage go, but he's still you know he's he's on probation if you will they have a fancier term for it but essentially he's on probation, and because of his skills you know they call on him on occasion to look at data and try and formulate hypotheses for him and blah blah blah. So the book starts, the story starts, you know, he, he's basically just driving a truck, driving around the country, he's delivering Christmas trees from Pennsylvania down south, and uh, he gets mugged by two guys from two low, by two low-level uh, mob guys from Texas. They take his truck, they take all his stuff, they leave him knocked out in a parking lot with nothing. He's got the clothes on his back and a credit card in his back pocket. And that starts the story, and then, uh, then he goes on a Reacher-like quest, man, to, you know, get his truck back, find these people, and this just leads into a whole much bigger story. Um, uh, the crux of the crime, which really drew the first, you know, drew me into the first book and why I wrote it was I came up with such a cool crime. So the story takes place in the Permian Basin, uh, which is in Texas. It's one of the hottest shale oil areas on the planet. They're squeezing a lot of oil out of a lot of stone down there. And as a result, sand, has become incredibly valuable. So it was worthless years ago because they actually don't like Texas sand because the granulates aren't round enough. But because there's so much drilling going on there, Texas sand is now worth over $100 a ton. Um, so in re And that's real, right? Yeah. That's, real, that's in real world. So Reacher comes across Anna, who he kind of falls in love with. It's a romance in the book as well, little romance. Um, because people are stealing the sand from her ranch. Like literally they're stealing her sand to use in these fracking things. And that's how Ramage gets sucked into um, the whole story because as he starts digging, of course they find a much bigger plot and there's the local bad guy, he goes up against the local bad guy and, uh, and the story progresses. Um, it's generally fun, it's meant to be fun. Um, it's not overly violent, I, I don't think, but you know, he's like a Reacher light kind of because he didn't come from that hardcore background but you know uh, I did fill it you know his name you know I spent a lot of time on the name he's named after Theodore Roosevelt right carry a you know speak softly carry a big stick mm -hmm. and he uh, and then I and Ramage was from damage oh yeah okay. Yeah, so I, I was playing with the word damage, and I came up with ramage. I did some of the things that I've learned, names are so important. Like right. back in the day, I would pay no attention to this, Jay. I would just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, that's his name. I gave it no thought whatsoever. But now I actually give it a lot of thought. Are we going to use a nickname through the whole book? Are we going to use their last name? You know, I really give a, a lot of thought to that. So it was ramage, you know, damage, ramage. It kind of, it kind of hits you. So only his mom calls him Theo, uh, and Anna, of course, occasionally joking uh, with him. Um, and I don't even know if she knows his full name, but <laughs> that's where, uh, that's where he came from. He's somewhat of, you know, my father read the book uh, before it was published, which he rarely does, and you know, and he said, I see a lot of you in there. And I said, No, I said that's just me being lazy. He goes, What do you mean? I'm like. 
you get to a point sometimes in a book and you need some backstory, you use your own. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, and he just happened to recognize it because a couple of the points, you know, like if you knew me really, really well, you'd be right. like, oh, you did that, that and that. But, you know, I have to explain to him. No one else knows that except you, Dad. You're the only one on the earth that knows that. Yeah. So no one else knows that that was really my experience in that situation. Um, so, you know, I cheated a little bit with Ramage, you know, also to try and make it more personal, to try and bring my own emotion into it. I find that. That's tough. I, I find with the action scenes, I get into them really and I just lose myself. The emotional stuff requires a little more work uh, for me because I'm always concerned that it's coming off as, you know, flaky and fluffy. You know, I, I, I read some of these books and it, I say to myself, ah, oh, it's so overboard. But, you know, you talk about that's what they like. You always have to remember it's escapism. They're not coming to these books for reality. They're coming because they want to forget about reality. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, and so sometimes I, I, I really try. I want people to read Quicksands and I want them to, to enjoy it. Quicksands is going to get its day. So, uh, when is Quicksands coming out? Quicksands is on May 6th and the big, big release is actually uh, May 18th. But it's available for purchase on May 6th. All right. And then we got uh, Sandbagged is going to drop in August. And then Too Much Grit will be the beginning of... Um, 2000 what is what year are we in 22 22 <laughs> so uh yeah that's uh that actually is going to drop on my birthday which will be january 12th 